$4.95. So basically $5. Ooh, that feels so good on the lips. $4.95. So basically $5. Hey fam, welcome back to Girl Jess. So today we're doing a product review on one of my favorite brands, BYS. And they sent me a bunch of lip, what are these? I think they're just lip glosses and apparently they're all infused with something different. And I thought this would be kind of cool to smell it, see how it feels and then see if it's worth it because I'm always looking for new glossy lip products. And I would admit BYS have the best, one of the best glosses in my opinion. So let's get to the video. If you like how this video is going, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button and let's get to it. So they are all infused with something different. This one is um, bias, okay. So they're all lip oils. This one is a vitamin E jojoba oil, gloss finish, soothes chap lips. My lips are so chapped right now. Um, so let's give it a go. I haven't even opened it because I wanted to do everything on camera. I hope they smell good as well. I love lipsticks and lip glosses that smell good. I know it's weird, but I don't know. It just makes you feel like yum. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this smells really good. I wish I could like get you guys to smell it. I have a feeling that they're going to all be clear. <laughs> so I just got my teeth. Oh, oh, don't eat it. Doesn't doesn't taste good. So this is the purple one, the vitamin E jojoba oil repair. Um, it feels really nice on the skin, on the skin, on the lips. I like how it's not too sticky. I feel like when lip glosses are really sticky, you don't really want to talk because then you get like those lines in the middle. I actually love this. I feel like it suits the look, but I need a lip liner. But <laughs> so, so far that's good. So now let's try the lip oil calming. This is so funny. This is a cannabis one. <laughs> cannabis sativa oil. Okay. Let's give that a go. Let's, let's give it a smell. I'm excited to smell this one. Let's see if it smells like cannabis. Ooh, my lips already feel so smooth just by taking that off. I'm actually really excited for this cannabis one. <gasps> this one doesn't really have a smell. That's kind of sad. <laughs> wow, I don't even have a lip gloss on. This has a little bit of a tingly feeling. So apparently this is a calming one. Look, I feel like they're gonna all look the same, but I feel like the way it feels on the lips, this has a little tingle to it. Um, I, I don't know, I really like it, but I wanna smell it. I just put that in my nose. <laughs> I don't really feel like this has any smell, which, you know, how funny would it be to just sniff that and be like, oh. <laughs> I don't recommend that, I'm just saying. Um, this actually feels really nice as well on the lips. It's, yeah. I mean, I don't really understand why it's cannabis oil. I don't know what that's meant to do for the lips, but I'm for it. <laughs> so the next one we have is the Nourishing Almond Oil Plus Shea Butter. This is going to be very interesting. Um, this says it locks in, lo um, locks in moisture. Locks in moisture infused with almond oil plus shea butter. So this should have a smell because I have shea butter on my for my hair, like the um, products, and it smells really good. Yeah, it smells great. Ooh, that really smells good. Oh, I love that. Okay. You don't want to squirt a lot out because I have been doing that in the last two videos. Um, the last two lips, sorry, and it just didn't really work out that well. I kind of wish they had a little bit of a color, but it's okay. Ooh, that feels so good on the lips. This feels very thick. It feels like... It feels like when you put it on, it kind of feels a bit more thicker. The other ones had a bit more of a thin um, texture to it. And I think it's mainly because of the oil. This one though, oh, that like, I really like so far the way this kind of glided on my lips. It just makes them feel very nourishing. So that was what they wanted and you achieved that. So clap, clap. Okay, so let's do, ooh, I think this one, this one might have color, so let's see. So this is the lip oil. It just says, apricot oil. I've never tried apricot oil before. 
um, yeah, soothes and hydrates. They, they all say soothe and hydrate. So let's give it a go. I honestly want to also try wearing the lip gloss the whole day and see how long it lasts for. See if it really nourishes my lips for me. I'm surrounded. I really like the feel of this though. But let's try this apricot one. I think this will have like a bit of a tinge to it. It's got like a very light tinge, which I'm about. Oh my God, it literally smells like apricot. I need to stop putting gloss on my nose. I like the color of that. It's like a little punk tinge. I was gonna say pink, but I said punk. This is actually really nice. I love the color because it looks like your lips, but a bit more hydrated and that's kind of what I'm going for. So, I really like this. This does as well feel a bit thicker, but with an oily finish, if that makes sense. Um, the one that I just used, so this does feel really nice on the lips. I love the color to it. Um, although I will say the almond one so far feels a bit more thicker. This does have more of a thick texture, but it's a bit more oily, which obviously because it's apricot oil. And I love the like pinky orangey tinge it has. I feel like it really complements my makeup right now. So. That's a vibe. I like that. So last but not least, this is the Gloss Finish Soothe Chap Lips um, infused with coconut oil. Now this is interesting. I actually think it's got coconut flakes in it. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh my God, it does. Can you guys see? Do you see the coconut flakes in it? That is so cool. I hope that doesn't go off though. Will it? I don't know. Let's see how this goes on. Ooh, again, I put too much. Oh my God, that smells like coconut. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so nice. This is incredible. This literally, wow. Oh my God, By BYS, I am impressed. I feel like I don't even know which one's my favorite, but it has to be this one or the almond oil one, I feel like. This one feels much thicker as well, um, and it smells exactly like coconut. It feels like you're putting coconut on your lips. I am a sucker for coconut. I used to put it always in my hair to kind of make it healthier and not as frizzy, and it I felt like it really did make a difference. Um, so I feel like this will really hydrate my lips because I've got really chapped lips, especially with this weather, it's like hot, but at the same time, it's very humid. And right now it's raining, so let's pass that on. But, um, ooh, I like that. Look, I am gonna wear this the whole day. I'm gonna see how I go and see if it really does hydrate my lips. I also wanna wear it a few days in a row. Kind of test it out because I feel like some lip glosses that say they hydrate don't really. But in saying that, as I was type like, oh my God, I can't speak. As I was type wiping this off, oh my gosh. I felt like my lips already felt so much better. It felt like I was putting purple or like a lip balm. So I really love that they came out with six different lip oils, lip creams. Um, they're all hydrate in different flavors. So I think that's amazing. They all smell so good, which is like a bonus for me. <laughs> the coconut one is definitely one of my favorites. I will have to say the coconut and the almond shea butter are my favorites. The other ones are incredible, but I just love the way they felt on my lips. But let's see how we go at the end of the day. I will keep you updated and we'll go from there. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will leave all the products down below. So if you guys want to try them, you can. These retail for $4.95, guys. $4.95. So basically $5. What? That's crazy. And you also get um, 13 mils in a tube. So that is going to last you quite a long time, especially because you only need a little bit. Please don't do what I did and I like to squirt it out. I feel like squirt a little bit and then just can't, you'll kind of glide over your lips. I think you can totally wear this over a, a, a lipstick. So it kind of makes your lips more shiny. And in saying that, if you do wear a matte lipstick and you want it to not be as chapped, I would recommend using this on top of it because it's a lip oil. It's going to make your lips feel so much better as opposed to just using um, a lipstick like the Fenty. I love the Fenty one, but I don't think it nourishes the lips. I feel like I've always been looking for a lip oil that also nourishes, whereas it glosses. So I'm really proud of BYS and they're like, they're doing so well. So if you guys wanna check them out, link is down below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't watched my previous video on me doing um, problematic skin, and we're talking about problematic skin, I'm doing makeup on this amazing model named Tina. She's so incredible. I was so glad she came on my channel to talk to you guys so you guys could understand a bit more because I wanted someone else to talk about it so you guys could understand. So I will leave that up here. Make sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.